G'day Saturday Sports fans, I'm Andrew Dado. This is Saturday Sports Shorts brought to you by Milo. And oh, look, it's a great day and a sad day. This is our last in the series. What's great about that? We've learned so many things. Remember Kyle Chalmers? Remember you don't kick like this, you kick like this when you're swimming? Well, today you're gonna learn some stuff you won't believe from a true ninja warrior. <laughs> Tell mum and dad they might wanna back off while you watch this one. Before we get there, special skills. Meet Quincy, she's 11 and she is unbelievable. Oh, Quincy has been surfing since she was four and a half. She's the 2020 Rip Curl Australian National Champion and she's living the dream. You saw her shacked up there in the green room. That's my dream. Nice to see you living in Quincy. I look forward to seeing you surf and surf and surf. All right, let's get to our special guest today. Jack Wilson is the Australian Ninja Warrior. He's been on the show twice. He's made the grand final twice, and he's inspired by his dad. So he used to watch his dad doing free weights and pull-ups and things like that, and that's what he's gonna do today. Jack, what a pleasure to meet you. Take it away. Much love to you, Andrew. Thank you very much for that beautiful introduction. Yes, you're right. I do love my exercise and my father is my hero. He taught me everything. And now it's my turn to share it with you guys at home. All you beautiful kids that want to get moving, have fun and just get that blood pumping and make sure you get a good sweat happening. I'm about to take you through my 30 second warm up. This is all about having fun and having a laugh. It's dancing. So. What we're going to do is you're going to start at the bottom, bounce, bounce, up, up, bounce, bounce, up, up. Try and touch the sky, get as low as possible. You ready, kids? And let's go. Down, down, up, up, down, down. Touch the sky, let's go. Down, down, up, up. Even leg back and forward. Down, down, up, up, down, down. Don't give up, halfway. Up, down, down. Up, up, let's have some fun. Yeah, yeah. Up, up, go a little bit quicker now. Yeah, up, up, yeah, yeah. Up, up, nearly there, don't give up. Two, one, time. Yes, woo! All right, here we go. This is the next warm up. We have 30 seconds of side to side action. Okay, we're gonna get some hip movement. We're gonna get some shoulder movement and even some head movement as well, guys. We need to start to get some fluidity, like a snake in this one, you know? Relax your arms, relax your legs. Okay, we're gonna go from side to side, moving your hips and your shoulders and down. Side to side and down. Okay, just follow me and my movements. Let's get the clock started, Andrew. This is gonna be a good one, guys. I want you to give it everything. Okay, start moving your arms and your hips and side down, up, side, move them shoulders and hips, and down. All right, now, arms to the side, and down. That's halfway, don't give up, the other way, and down. Arms up to the side of the top. Let's keep moving it, shoulders up, and down. All right, last one, all the way. Wiggle it as much as you can, and down. Mm. Woo, damn. Jack, that was fantastic, especially the dancing. See, like, I've never thought of dancing as a warm-up exercise, because my dancing's, well, it's not as good as yours, is it? All right, this is our Saturday sports legend. You'll love this guy. His name is Rochelle. I love playing cricket. There was this one match where I got three wickets, clean bowled in one over. I was really excited with this outcome because it helped my team win the match. And here are two of my favorite trophies. Oh, Rochelle, they're our first trophies. And how good, win the match, get trophies, clean bold, you are fantastic and a brilliant Saturday Sports Legend. Um, that is the end of our Saturday Sports Legends for now because it's the end of the series. But if we come back for a series two, we want to hear from you. All right, let's get back to Jack. Get back to Jack and watch him get sweaty. 
Now, it's time to take these kids through the first exercise. This one is my favorite. It is a kangaroo, a native animal of Australia. And now we get to be kangaroos because they're very bouncy, they're very strong, and they're very fast. So remember, they got strong legs and that's what we're gonna work on. So what I want you to do is put your hands up like your ears. You're gonna drop down to one knee like that. The next knee, alternate, and then a squat. And then you're gonna jump up as high as you can. You ready, kids? Put your ears up, get prepared, let's go. First knee, and the second, and down, and now up. Okay, and again, let's repeat that. Let's stay strong. Remember, you're the bounciest kangaroo in the world. Yeah, I want you to try and touch that sky. Okay, repeat, knees. Again, keep that chest high, keep them ears up, and down, and up. Woo! Wow, there it is, guys. These are the strongest and the bounciest kangaroos I've ever seen. Okay, now you've been a kangaroo. Now it's time to be a lizard or a crocodile. Okay, these are native animals of Australia and we have the opportunity to feel their strength and visualize what it's like to be out in the wild. So you take a step back. I want you to get on your knee like that with your arms up and that's the beginning. And then you're gonna get on all fours and you're gonna crawl forward just like a crocodile or a lizard. And you're gonna come up with your hands and look around and then back again all the way to your start and repeat. All right, guys, let's get prepared. Get on your knee and let's go. Okay, crawling forward nice and slow like you're in the wild. And then coming up with your hands looking around and then back nice and slow. Really feel the strength of your legs and your arms. That's halfway up. Okay, we've got one more to go. Don't give up. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Yes. Good work, team. Oh, Jack, that, honestly, I thought we'd seen just about everything in Saturday Sport Shorts, but you've shown us there's a stack more to learn, and the music was by Lucas Proudfoot. So just check out his website because that's where you're gonna find a stack more information. All right, so the body's definitely pumping. Let's get to the quiz. Great stuff, Jack. Okay, so look, you've done great things with the body. Now let's work the mind. This is the Saturday quiz and some pretty random questions. Um, we'll start with this one, which is the right place to start, question one. Which martial art is based on the fighting style of ninjas like Jack? Is it A, Taekwondo, B, Karate, or C, Ninjutsu? Yes, you got it. It's in the name, isn't it? C, Ninjutsu. So if you want to be a ninja warrior, say to mum and dad, mum and dad, I want to get to some ninjutsu lessons. All right, question two. Which of the following sports does not involve a ball? Is it A, tennis? Mm, B, squash, mm, or C, badminton. Yes, it's badminton because they play with the shuttlecock and you wouldn't believe it, this is the fastest um, racket sport in the world. That thing goes 300 kilometers an hour, which is why it has the feathers at the back to slow it down. Um, and finally, question three, if it's a tiebreaker at your place, at the Olympic games in ancient Greece, what did the competitors wear? Uh, did they wear A, suit of armor, B, nothing, or C, long dresses? And the answer is B, nothing. They wore nothing. They were naked in the Olympics. But that was fine because it was a long time ago. It's kind of like Jack wearing his swimmers when he does the ninja, right Jack? Let's get back to him and find out his special Saturday skill. All right, Jack Wilson, I'm, look, I am very excited about your special skill because everything else has been so completely different. I know that this is gonna be like a chance to see something very special. Let's see it, your special skill. Thank you very much, Andrew. Now, 
it's the main event, the special move. And I'm very excited about this one because we're going to put in what we learnt at the start, which is the kangaroo movement. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a little dance as a kangaroo. Let's get your pouches ready. Get your bouncy legs ready. Put your ears up. Let's get the clock rolling, Andrew. Let's do this. All right, kids. You ready? Stomp them feet. Clap them hands. Get the ears up. One knee. Two knee. Two legs. And shake a leg. Out the front. All the way. And down. Yes, well done. Okay, let's walk it back. Clapping them hands. Stomping them feet. Ears up. All right, you ready? Let's go. One, two, up. Shake your leg all the way out the front. Make some noise. Ah, 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 ah. Hey. Woo. All right. We got one more in us. One more in us. Clap them hands. Clap them legs. Let's go. Ears up. Let's go. And up. Let's shake a leg out the front. Let's go a bit faster. Hey. Yes. There it is. You've done your first shake a leg as a kangaroo or a wallaby, a native animal of Australia. That is just deep connection to this country. So beautiful, guys. Well done. That is brilliant and definitely something for us to work on. Um, look, some kids want to know some more about you and we call the segment Question Time. All right, Jack, you ready? Uh, the first question is from uh, Amalia. She's eight and she's in Queensland and it's about the Australian Ninja Warrior and she wants to know what's the hardest obstacle in Australian Ninja Warrior? The hardest obstacle I must say, the warped wall. I think that thing is just so daunting. It is so scary, especially after finishing seven obstacles before that, I'm so puffed. And I mean, I've got so many nerves and pressure because all I got to do is just get up that wall and hit that buzzer. And what I do is just put my mind to it, believe in myself, and remember that I've got Australia behind me and I just make my way up that wall. So what about this one? Um, it's one, and he's 12 in the Northern Territory, and he says, and it sounds like a kid after your own heart, one day I want to be a ninja warrior. What is the best thing I can do to get strong and fit? Ooh, ooh. My little brother wants to be a ninja warrior. I believe in you. And all you got to do is believe in yourself and remember that you can do anything in this life that you want. And never forget that. And every day you wake up, I want you to envision it. I want you to see it in your mind and train hard, eat all the healthy foods in the world, all the vegetables and all the fruits, and make sure you get enough sleep at night. And I guarantee you, you will be a ninja warrior. And I cannot wait to see that happen. Yeah, great advice. And I think also just, you know, look back over the exercises you did as well, because, you know, it's all brilliant training. Um, all right, and Jack, one last thing, because we are, um, we are brought to you by Milo. How do you like your Milo? Do you like it hot or cold? Andrew, that's got to be a trick question, mate. I love Milo all together. I love it hot and cold. But most importantly, I love it even more now because it is plant-based. They have brought out a vegan Milo and that has just brought back my whole childhood dreams of drinking Milo. And to work with Milo, I'm just so grateful but I must say it depends on what time of day, when it's hot, I like it when it's winter, when it's cold, after a nice workout, or you know, when it's a hot day. But the main thing is, is that it's plant-based and it's right up my alley for my lifestyle. So I'm very stoked about that, guys. How good is Jack Wilson, forever to be known now as Vegan Ninja Warrior? Jack Wilson. So thanks, Jack. Um, time to get your parents, show them what you've learned. And this is the end of the series for Saturday Sport Shorts. But the good news is you can watch all of the episodes whenever you want. Go to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Mamma Mia Kids, and you can do all the workouts. So whether it's netball, 
whether it's football, whether it's running, it doesn't matter. You'll find them all here and all the different exercises, which is terrific, including Jack Wilson. You can watch him over and over because I thought he was fantastic. So that's it for us. I hope you've enjoyed it. Brought to you by Milo and we'll see you next time. Bye. Oh.